touch, we touch the very soul of all the each and every life. We claim the very source of joy ran through. It didn't, but it seemed that way. I kissed a lot of people that day. <laughs> Woe to capture. Okay, hey, boujou. And welcome back to the show. Welcome back to Boujou, Nana Boujou, the podcast about Ojibwe language and culture. I am Nana Boujou, and over here, the lovely and the talented Natasha. Take a down, Boujou, Weenie Mushain. Say hello, sweetheart. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. <laughs> and over here, the rock star cartoonist. Oh, hold on a second. The rock star cartoonist, Michael Lyons. Nikodon Bujou Niji. Hey everyone, welcome to the show. And today's Ojibwe Word of the Day is brought to you by Rock Star Cartoonist, a comic book autobiography by Michael Lyons. But you don't really recommend they buy this? No, no, please don't buy that comic book. It is only interesting to me. <laughs> you don't think other people find it interesting? Eh, you know, it's weird, but I mean, they can buy it if they want. It's just, I don't know. Don't you stand by your work? Well, yeah, I guess. Why do you even have it on your uh, Amazon page if you don't like the comic book? I love the, the cover. <laughs> it is a cool cover. Rockstar cartoonist. Follow the life of almost famous rock star and cartoonist Michael Lyons' life from birth to... How old were you when, the, uh, when you wrote this? That was like my mid-40s. To his mid-40s. <laughs> in, in comic book, whatever. Anyway. Um, but for today, sweetie, what do you think? Should we teach some Ojibwe language and culture? Yeah, we should. That's what we do here on Abatuse. We're halfway through the week. It is Wednesday. Or as the Ojibwe speakers would call it, Abatuse. Halfway. Abatuse, sweetie. But what was the clickbait again? Something about something to do with your broken heart. How to fix a broken heart. You know who knows about broken hearts? Who's that? Wally Bear. <laughs> yeah, poor old Wally Bear. Yeah. Hey, what do you know? Wally Bear is here. Hey, boujou. Let's get a, a gold star. Maybe a, a little gold sticker can, can mend that broken heart of Wally Bears. I'll try. Gold star. <laughs> and Daniel Black gets the silver. Boujou, Niji. Way to be in second. The silver star for Daniel. Oh, wow, and Papa Wagosh is here. <laughs> How you doing, Papa Wagosh? Brown star for Papa Wagosh. For you, Papa Wagosh. <laughs> and uh, Wally Bear says, Mino Giga Jabe, Dan and Papa. Good morning, Dan and Papa. We're talking about broken hearts. And uh, in Ojibwe, one way to talk about that feeling when when a relationship goes awry, when your expectations don't aren't met, when uh, you know, when only love can bring the rain, <laughs> we say, "Dewizi uh, in de." It's weird when you say your heart. When I say my heart, I would say in de. A little apostrophe is like the the dash in the word o oh, o. Oh. Or uh oh, or whatever. Uh, so de is <laughs> kind of how you pronounce that. In de is my heart. Oh, sweetie, you're in de. You're my heart. Ah. <laughs> but then if you have an ache in your heart, you say, do is he in de? Like an ache in my heart. Because you see, bigoshka de. Bigoshka de. How, how would we say that? 
Bikoshka de. Got a broken heart. How do you fix a broken heart? And the reason I bring this up, <laughs> last night I told a whole story about this, this chick, Jennifer. If you watched the, uh, the evening show last night, you know, I mean, a bougie and a bougie will always be a morning show. Just because, you know, it feels like a morning coffee. You know, there's less pressure if we keep it in the morning. But once in a while I do an evening show, or we do an evening show. And uh, ended up talking about old relationships. Relationships that didn't work out. So I told this whole story about Jennifer and, <laughs> and uh, led just beautifully into the song. And that's when I wrote the song, Never Coming Back Here Again. And uh, <laughs> then I didn't, then we didn't have the song. I know. What was that other song? I always screwed it up in the band too. The other song is called, um, Will I Ever See You Again? Subtly different, equally brokenhearted. Will I ever see you again? Was the song we played. But and then, of course, there's uh, this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Michael, do you want me to tell the story of Natasha? I'd rather you didn't. <laughs> But the thing about broken hearts, you guys, this is this is a little advice for the men. I know Papa Bagosh probably knows this already because he's an elder. But for you young guys, you know, like Joseph. Hey, Joe, what's up? Is Joseph younger than us? Um, I have no idea, but probably. <laughs> so what's up with a broken heart? You fall in love with some girl. And together, you, 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 you have these dreams. Oh, we're going to create a life together. We finally found each other. You know. All those songs, those love songs and the, the movies that were so romantic, they, they were all kind of about us. And for a time, you're happy. You're in this weird state of insanity. Oh, I'm in love. Nothing can go wrong now that I'm in love. I don't need anything. I don't even need to eat or sleep or whatever because I got love. And then, you know, after a couple of years, you realize uh, your girlfriend's a, a bit of a skank. <laughs> don't say that. What? <laughs> you know, turns out uh, maybe she likes having more than one boyfriend at a time. I don't know. Maybe she's got low self-esteem and no, no, no boundaries, no, no morals. You know, you realize, well, that's, that's how you hooked up with her. Why wouldn't she do the same with somebody else? You know? So I, I told this long story about trying to break up with Jennifer and how uh, I went to do it face to face. She had moved away and we still hadn't broken up. When I went there to go face to face you know what? We're done. Um, and, uh, but then I, when I got down there, I realized, well, you can't break up when you're the, a guy alone in a strange town with only $23 in your wallet and a train ticket for three days later. I realized if I broke up with her on the first night, she might kick me out of the house. And so I had to wait. And then we had a whole weekend together of being boyfriend and girlfriend. And I kept on trying to think, when's a good time to break up with her? Because I need to do this in person. You know, can't just make a phone call. <laughs> and uh, went through the whole weekend, finally got back on the train to head home to Minnesota. And I turned around and looked at her, you know. We had just, you know... We've been crying and telling each other we loved each other. And, and I realized I didn't do it. I never broke up with her. And so as I looked at her there from the train, I was like, you know what? I don't know what's going to happen. 
One thing I do know is that I'm never coming back here again. And on the way home on that train, I wrote the lyrics to Never Coming Back Here Again. And should I just play that song? <laughs> yeah, why don't you play that song? And then you can talk about the other Natasha. Okay. So this is Never Coming Back Here Again. And uh, we'll get to you in a minute. <laughs> um... This is it now, this is the end, I'm 